What I want to bring to you is five mistakes that people make when buying a home. The first mistake, and probably the worst one you can do, is not meeting your lender early enough in the process. There are certain details that need to be hammered out before anything else begins. Reach out to your network, reach out to your broker, your agent, ask for referrals, do some research on your own, find someone that you trust, and get all that information on paper because that's where you're gonna start. The second mistake that you can make when you're out buying a home is listening to family members, friends, your preacher, your veterinarian. Everybody's gonna have some input on where you're gonna live, and that's fine. Your family should have a say in the house that you purchase, but when it comes to the details, how much it costs, certain things that you want in the house and it doesn't really matter to them, it's none of their business. That also includes bringing family members to the inspection process and getting to the closing table because it's an emotional process and you need to be able to process your own thoughts and feelings better than everybody else's in the situation. Now, you've met your lender, they've given you the pre-approval, they told you what your monthly payment's gonna be, but just because they tell you you can spend $3,000 a month on a mortgage, doesn't mean you have to spend that much. So if you commit yourself to spending $3,000 a month on a mortgage, you better be comfortable with it. The only way to reduce that is to refi, but that's in hopes that the rates are going down. So. Be careful, pick your budget, and stick to it. The fourth most common mistake I wanna share with you guys is not asking the right questions. And I'm talking to you, the people out there buying the homes. Your agent is there to help you. They work for you. So if you're running through this process, just trusting this person full heartedly, we appreciate that, but you should know what's going on. You should be asking the right questions and you should have a general understanding of what's happening and what you're getting yourself into. So ask as many questions as you can. You will not annoy us, I promise, maybe, but it's okay. Just ask those questions. So we'll let you know when you cross the line. Now the fifth and biggest mistake that we can sit down and talk about today is something that you guys have all heard about. And if you haven't, I'm gonna tell you. Stop spending money. If you're in the process of buying a home, you need to put your finances on hold. Don't go out and run your credit for anything. Don't buy furniture. Don't finance a tattoo if that's a thing. You want to make sure your credit is crispy clean because they will pull it again and if anything's changed, it could kick you out of the qualification for the home that you wanted to buy. There's plenty of things you can do wrong to mess up a real estate transaction and make the experience very unpleasant. Those are just a few. Follow us for some more. Plenty more coming.